hey everyone welcome back to the channel hope you all are doing well today i am back again with my topic of wazoo server today i am going to tell you how you can download the wazoo ova and import in your virtual box or use it as a virtual machine by this scenario you don't have to install any linux or centos or ubuntu operating system you don't have to install wazoo step by step you simply have to download the wazoo ova from their website and import in your virtual box and after the import of ova you have to log in and use the wazoo for your testing and training purposes so just move towards the installation you have to type wazoo ova download in your browser the first url came up you have to open it and here you go you simply have to click on this button to start the download the setup size of wazoo ova is about 4 gb and it will take about 20 minutes it the download time depends upon your internet speed i have not the fastest internet maybe you can download this kind of setup within one minute to avoid the delay and the length of my video i have already downloaded that setup i am going to cancel this uh, I am going to open my Oracle VM virtual box manager and go to this file in the main menu and click on this import appliance. The pop up will ask you the location where that OVA has been resided. I have that OVA at this location so i am going to select this ova and click on this open button the next step is to click on this next button and the location where you want to place this wazu ova i am going to place at this drive and i am going to include all the network adapter mac addresses and I am going to click on this finish button. The, the OVA is going to be import in, in a little time, in a short time. As soon as this importing appliance operation gets 100%, our OVA will be uh, imported successfully you have the name of virtual machine is this we have the operating system and the base memory ram you can minimize these resources maximize these resources processor and the other options will remain as it is the process uh, looks little slower let's this import process gets completed until i am going to pause the video so guys the import process is about to complete 6% is remaining if you want to cancel this process if you have forget to make some changes or you don't want to name the machine as I don't I haven't changed the name so you can cancel it from here 
and if you want to delete this virtual machine this OVA from your Oracle VM virtual box manager uh, you have to right click on this the import process has been completed successfully you have to right click on this and you simply have to click on this remove button and click on this delete all files if you just remove only uh, it will remove from here not the files physically files on your system or the laptop I am going to cancel it before the st before starting of this VM I am going to tell you some requirements okay let's first just start this machine I am going to minimize some resources because uh, this is the fresh installation I I haven't need need as much resources and I am going to minimize it to one processor as well or you can say two one because I haven't have as much process uh, processor on my system so now I am going to start my machine powering VM up until this uh, VM gets started I am going to tell you about little hardware requirement of this Wazu OVA the following requirements have have to be in place before the Wazu VM can be imported into a host operating system the host operating system has to be 64 bit system Linux, CentOS, Ubuntu all of these were 64 bit hardware virtualization has to be enabled on the firmware of the host a virtualization platform such as VirtualBox should be installed on the host system I have this VirtualBox available on my system and out of the box the Wazu VM is configured with the requirement values I have changed because this is the fresh import I haven't have to uh, utilize or assign as much as resources so I have minimized them now you have to log in this OVA to to check what the IP this machine machine has been assigned the username default for the login is Wazu the user and the password for this user is Wazu so I have successfully logged in now I am going to type IPA to check the IP for the machine so this is the IP on which the Wazu OVA has been configured I am going to type 192.168.0.101 right this must be the correct IP 192.168.0.1 so I am going to enter it now there you go you have the access to the Wazu server Wazu dashboard but it will take some time that Wazu dashboard server is not ready yet because the Wazu indexer service started first then the Wazu manager will be started then file beat will be started and in the end the dashboard will collect all the data from them and it will show us here let's take a bit time to get all the services get restarted let's check either these services has been started no the wazu server just has been loaded but not started yet so that's why we are unable to access our wazu dashboard The Wazu indexer service has been active and running. Now let's check the Wazu manager. Either it is started or not. Ok. 
کے واز اٹ ہیز بین آلسو اسٹارٹیڈ بیکاز دا لاگز ویر کمنگ اینڈ ناؤ چیک فور دا واز ڈیش بورڈ یا اٹ از آلسو ایکٹیو اینڈ رننگ ناؤ آئی ایم گوئنگ ٹو ایکسیس دا واز ڈیش بورڈ ان آور براؤزر ناؤ اٹ از ایکسیسیبل بیکاز آل دا سروسز ہیز بین اسٹارٹیڈ دا ڈیفالٹ یوزر نیم اینڈ پاس ورڈ مسٹ بی دا ایڈمن یوزر نیم اینڈ آز ایڈمن پاس ورڈ بائی ڈیفالٹ فور آور واز سرور either is uh, stand alone either is, is on the premises either it's the OVA in all the scenario the default username and password for the Wazoo GUI GUI is admin is the username and admin is the password so I have imported the latest Wazu server OVA 4.8.0 which has been recently released by the Wazu here you go you have the access to your Wazu GUI so guys you have understood the scenario you have the virtual box on your host you have the wazu ova you know how to import wazu ova to that virtual box and you can either minimize or maximize your resources and after that you have to log in and check what ip has been assigned to our wazu ova and then you have to access that ip in your browser and you have the access to your wazu gui so guys please uh, share my channel with your friends colleagues and students please like and subscribe my channel stay tuned until then stay blessed thank you for watching goodbye